Okay, so we've got our Play-Doh sphere and we've got some floss. So we're going to cut the sphere and look at the shapes that appear on those cross-sectional cuts. So I'm going to take my floss and I'm just going to kind of press it against the top and then wiggle a little bit and then use some force with both my thumbs just to cut right down on it, right? To cut right through until I reach the bottom right here. I'm having a hard time, I can wiggle the floss, move my model, and then I'll leave the floss in. It's okay, I don't need to pull it out. And I just open my sphere, and I can see, right? Let's smush it a little bit so it stands up, and you can see it. Well, I'll hold it up, I guess. Right? You can see that the cross section of a sphere is a circle, which you might you might expect that, right? The fun thing is that you can try it some several ways but um, I think you'll find no matter where you cut it, whether it's in the middle like this or off the end, right, that you might find something interesting about the cross sections of all those cuts. I'll just show you one example. Let's put my sphere back together. So I can cut it the other way, right? So like maybe turn it, I can cut it this way parallel to the table, um, or I can even cut off a little chunk and again, this is, I'm just going to roll it back together real quick. Let's see what happens if I cut it from a kind of a weird angle. Let's see what, what happens. Now this is not a perfect sphere, so it might look a little weird. But I'm going to cut kind of at this little angle here, or cut the edge off. So I'm going to right, pull it right through. And almost got it. I'm going to turn this so you can see what I'm doing cutting at an angle on the sphere and just I'm cutting at a straight line right? straight plane excuse me and if I peel this back I get two different circles right again <laughs> this circle's not perfect because my model's not perfect but cut anywhere on a sphere and see what you notice thanks